So if you're a meeting planner or an event organizer, it's often really hard to tell how to pick the best speaker. The first time I ever went to a Tony Robbins event, I was found online through a search that was easy, non-technical SEO speaker. I rolled into Las Vegas, I'll never forget, and somebody else in his platinum partnership had been chosen to speak that day, so I was kicked off the stage and I couldn't speak that day. But they did give me a week-long pass to observe. So I stood in the back and observed this speaker come up. And he had, I don't think, 15 slides, and every slide I think had like 25 bullet points on it. And after about the third slide, this low rumbling boo started in the audience. Boo, 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 and it got louder and louder, and pretty soon the guy on the stage couldn't even talk anymore. And then people were heckling him like, why do you say all these crazy things, and you don't really ever say what we have to do? And I really saw that that frustration for business owners that they're tired of all of the jargon, all of the confusion, all the snake oil. Just tell us like it is. Tell us what we need to do. Tell me how Google will love me. I kept hearing that over and over again. Why don't I rank? Why do I see smaller competitors ranking over me? You know, how do I ever complete, compete in such a corporate dominated industry? And after that event, <laughs> after he got booed off stage, um, I just finished my first book, Findability Formula, and all the executives were lined up on the back of the, of the ballroom, and I went back and handed my book to each one of the executives, and I said, don't do that. Don't do that to your attendees again. And that's when I got hired, and I did seven international um, main stage keynotes with Tony Robbins. It was interesting. It was both exhilarating and terrifying and amazing and disheartening which was always, uh, you know, be careful what you get. <laughs> you might not like it. And I didn't like it. I, I was in all these fabulous locations. I went to Fiji twice, London, Melbourne. I went to all these amazing, and I'm like, this has got to be the best gig on the planet. And it was in a lot of ways. But what I saw was more about people getting excited about the content they heard rather than taking action on the content they learned. And they would buy these packages that we were selling and like people wouldn't even show up to the calls they purchased. They wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't engage or schedule their appointments after they had left these events. And I think what happens is as a business owner, you get very excited in the moment and then life kicks in and you're busy. And after I left that, I knew that my role as a speaker, as a professional speaker, was to involve the audience, to get them invested in wanting to do this themselves by telling real stories, by explaining to them all this highly technical jargon, the Google algorithm, data, keywords, research tools, but make it easy and accessible for them. So I wrote my last book, Marketing Espionage, because I wanted it to be a go-to guide, a dummy's guide, if you will, to how to be the most findable business online. So if you're looking for a speaker, on search engine marketing, how to grow your business online, how to just grow your business, I might be a really interesting consideration because I care deeply about the learning of the people in that room and that they can leave and go and apply what they've learned from spending an hour of time with me. I have one of the most coveted designations called the Certified Speaking Professional or CSP that is an earned designation by the National Speakers Association. Very difficult to get. And it's over five years worth of, of speaking that you were able to actually get this designation. So I can roll in, I can really deliver on the goods, and I can make them feel empowered that they can leave and do it themselves. And I think at the end of the day, when you go to conferences and you're going to session after session after session, and you feel overwhelmed, I want them to leave saying, this was the best session I attended for the entire conference. And I hear that all the time. And that's the good stuff for me. That means I connected and they're gonna go do it themselves. If you enjoyed the story I shared today, make sure to subscribe to my channel. I put my heart and soul into these videos and I hope this one showed you how much I care about you and sharing my story of how I got here. And I'm committed to giving you fantastic content on a daily basis. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell so you get notified every day of my content. And I look forward to seeing you at the top of search results very soon. Whoa.